Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your very own August capsule wardrobe collection. Essentially I'm going to be teaching you how to pull pieces from your own closet that you already have so you can keep up with the trends for this month which is August. It's a new monthly series I'm going to be doing every single month on my blog and here on IGTV so I hope you guys find it helpful. You don't have to run out and spend a bunch of money every single month to keep up with the current trends and I'm going to show you how I do that with the things I already own. Okay, so we're gonna just dive right in. Um, if you're curious about what a capsule collection or a capsule wardrobe even is, head to my blog. It's gonna be linked in the description below. Um, my blog is shesmilesallday.com, but the actual link for that blog post will be in the description. But essentially, we're gonna be pulling about 15 pieces today, and I'm gonna show you how you can take things you already own from your closet, repurpose them so they're trendy um, and relevant to what's going on seasonally, um, yeah, and show you how you can mix and match, and it'll make it so much easier for you girls who are running out the door in the morning to not have to dig through your closet. You're already going to have this little mini wardrobe ready to go for the season. Okay, so the first piece that I want to show you guys is you should pick out a cute summer dress that can be easily elevated to something more nighttime as well as dressed down to something more every day. So the dress that I'm picking for my August capsule wardrobe is this super cute and super cheap dress that I got at this little boutique in the mall. Um, I love it. It's super flattering. I love anything that has kind of like almost a wrap detail. Um, obviously the print is very summery. It's perfect for the season. It has a really flattering neckline and this can be mixed and matched with a denim jacket and some cute sandals that I'll show you guys in a moment or it can even be mixed with something more elevated like a heel and maybe a moto jacket. Different things like that will quickly elevate this but it's also super cute for like a summer date. So pick out a dress. It's the first piece. Uh, fling that over there. Then you want to think about at least three tops. So I went with three. The first one that I picked out was a crop top because that's really in style and I wear a lot of high-waisted stuff. Um, but most importantly, I would just pick one top that has a pattern. So if you don't want to do a crop top, you don't have to. But this one is this great striped shirt. I got this at Forever 21. It was super cheap. I got it a few weeks ago. Super flattering again. You can button it up so it's a little bit more modest. You can keep it lower if that's your style. It has a really cute wrap detail. Super fun colors. I love the blue and the green and I love the pattern. So pick out one pattern top and then you're going to want to pick a solid that can kind of be mixed and matched with everything. I chose to make my solid also my top of the three that's going to be a little bit more nighttime, a little bit more elevated. It's this gorgeous kind of satiny top that I got at Express a few years ago. I love the wrap detail on the bow. I think it's so cute. Clearly I'm into stuff that kind of wraps and like accentuates the waist. Um, and it has this really pretty detail on the back too. So this is great because it's just a solid red, which is a great pop of color for the summer season, but I can easily mix and match this with a bunch of the other pieces you'll see because it doesn't have a busy pattern on it. So pick out a solid. And then finally, pick out some sort of neutral. Sometimes when we think of neutrals, we think of like a plain white t-shirt, which is great and obviously transitions through any season. However, I don't want you guys to be afraid to pick something that might have a pattern or a lace detail or something fun. I picked something really summery. It's a nice white and black top. I can mix and match this with a lot of different things, but it's not super basic. It's still definitely reflecting the summer season. And it's also one of those things that can be dressed up or down. So those are the three tops that I picked. And then you want to pick three bottoms. So I think denim is critical to all wardrobes, no matter the season. So I picked out a really cute pair from Express. I just got these a couple weeks ago. Um, but I have a ton of these pairs, so these would have already been in my closet anyway. But they're the vintage skinny high-rise. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of high-rise pants. So this is a high-waisted pair. It's skinny, so it's not a jegging where it's like... <laughs> but it's still gonna be nice and fitted. I love the distressed look for summer. I can cuff it at the bottom, which is even more on point for the summer season. It's a nice faded light wash with some um, distressed denim. So these are super cute and versatile for an everyday casual look or even work wear depending on the dress code where you work. Then I think a skirt is fun. I picked this kind of high-low maxi skirt. You're gonna see some pictures on my blog of me wearing it so you can kind of get a better idea of what it actually looks like. Um, but it's kind of just this wrap detail. It wraps around, it's longer in the back, it shows a little leg. Um, super comfy, very fitted, so really flattering, but it flows out towards the bottom, so still really comfy. Um, it's a nice solid color as well. We want to make sure that we have some solids as well as some prints. So this is perfect for mixing and matching. I can wear this with sneakers, I can wear it with heels, so again, versatility is everything. 
And then finally, I wanted something fun. So I picked out a patterned striped pant. I got these at H&M. I am obsessed with them. I think they are such a power move of a pant. I love it. I love the bold colors. I love the bold print. Uh, but I also love that the color story kind of ties in the other things that I have in this capsule collection I'm creating. I have some reds. I have some whites. I have some navies. You'll see some other pieces that will go well with this. But these are great for work. So if you want to have a work option. But I also think this would be super fun for a night out. Okay. So once we have a dress, some great tops, some great bottoms, then we can kind of pull the look together. So I would say pick out two outerwear pieces. So the first I picked is of course a denim jacket. It's a lightweight denim jacket. It's from H&M. Super inexpensive. Got it a few years ago. Um, this one doesn't have any patchwork or anything. I wanted something basic that I could mix and match with anything, which clearly is the theme here. And I love this one because it's super comfy. Does anything not look good with a denim jacket? Even this outfit. I can do denim on denim. Very circa 2000 Britney Spears around then, but um, it's going to go with everything. I love it for the floral dress. I love it for even those pants that I just showed you guys. It really kind of pulls the whole look together. So this is critical to your summer wardrobe. Okay, so the other jacket that I picked was also kind of in the denim family. It's from Topshop. Got it last year. This is a super cute, fun jacket. Again, it's August, even though I live in San Francisco where it's actually very gloomy and cold. I know the rest of you guys are probably sweating. It's probably really hot. We're having a heat wave all over the place. So I wanted to pick a lightweight jacket. I picked this cool green one. It has this, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, almost like a striped, faded look to it. And obviously this beautiful embroidery, which is huge this season. I'm obsessed with anything embroidered and I love that it's green but it has reds, it has pinks, it has kind of black browns, and it has white, it has peach. I can mix and match this with a ton of the different pieces that I picked out as well as everything else in my closet. Um, I also like that it's a little bit oversized so it's great in terms of kind of giving a look dimension and kind of creating different proportions. So this is the other jacket I chose. Then, of course, shoes, hello. So I picked out three different pairs, which I think is pretty solid. I picked out one pair that you can use to kind of elevate your look and take it from day to night, which are my favorite summer shoe, which is the wedge. I picked these brown wedges that I have that I'm obsessed with. I got these on Shoe Dazzle, you guys, so it's super inexpensive. I've had them for years. They've lasted a really long time, and they're super comfy. So these are great for you know, literally elevating your look. I'm 5'2", so I can get all the help that I need. But also, it'll kind of take your look to the next level and make it more nighttime. Even though it's a sandal, it's still perfect for summer, because summer is obviously a lot more boho and laid back, so you don't need to have a stiletto or a pump. The next shoe that I chose are these Adidas. Super cute. A white sneaker in the summertime. I'm obsessed. I have these pretty rose gold ones, but obviously black would be a little bit more... Um, versatile in terms of matching with other things, but um, any sort of white sneaker or even like a regular Converse, something like that, they're my go-to for creating a casual, cool, almost athleisure look. I can pair this with that dress. I can pair it with that green jacket I just showed you because it has the pink that will tie in. It's truly going to go with everything, so it's a great everyday option. And then finally, I chose some comfy flats that are also great for every day, but you can also wear these for work. These are, again, old from the Who, What, Wear collection at Target, which I always love their new... Every time they come out with a new collection, I have to shop it. But these are so pretty. I love these. I wear them all the time. I love the blue and the kind of yellowish, goldy green. Um, super pretty pattern shoe. So it kind of just adds like a pop of fun into your wardrobe. Again, I already have some blues and some yellows and greens going on in this capsule collection that I created. So I can mix and match these with anything. They're very work appropriate, but also are fun if you want to be comfy, but still kind of have like a funky shoe going on. Okay, and then finally there's the accessories. Obviously you can feel free to add any accessories you'd like, but the three that I chose um, are going to be meant specifically to mix and match with this wardrobe. The first is this cute sun hat. It's super fun, adds like a fun touch, and it's perfect if you're on like fourth day hair and you haven't washed your hair in a while. A hat is always your best friend, so I love this. It just feels so summer to me. So, the hat, and then I grabbed two handbags that I think are perfect. One is a little bit more casual. It's this brown fringe option. I got it at Francesca's a couple years ago. It has this really cute braided detail. Um, it's a crossbody. It's super lightweight. Obviously not huge, but it does carry 
quite a bit actually considering it's not a giant bag but this is obviously more casual super easy for on the go and anything any accessory that's brown or has fringe is going to feel very summertime so feel free to reach for one of those and then I also grabbed my Henry Bendel mini Rivington tote again this is from my closet already I didn't just buy this I've had this for a while um, I think that this is such a pretty color it'll go with the reds that I have in my capsule wardrobe I can wear it like this I can wear it like this and it makes it even more versatile because I can take this off and have a little clutch which also comes with a cute ugh, if I can get it, little chain so it's super versatile now I have two bags how did that happen? Um, if you have pieces like that, that can easily be, um, you know, transformed into a second option or something smaller. I highly recommend it when you're creating a capsule wardrobe. It just, again, gives you more options, give you, gives you more versatility without having so much clutter. You can keep things minimal. Um, so this will be perfect for going out, but if I need something more, I also have this. So that is my August capsule wardrobe for you guys. I hope that you found this helpful. Again, there's going to be a ton more details on the blog that I'll be linking in the description, and you can look forward to this series every single month. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments on my Instagram. It's at SheSmilesBlog, and I hope you guys have an amazing August. Bye!